What's up, nerds and geeks? My name is OMG WTF LOL FTW BRB, and welcome to another Total Extreme Wrestling Mod Spotlight. Uh, this is going to be episode two of the Montreal Aftermath Mod Spotlight. <coughs> You'll notice um, in the previous episode we were actually about to book Monday Night Raw, but we're actually back on this screen. Um, I actually had to reset the game because um, a huge problem ended up happening. I'm not going to disclose anything. Uh, everything is the same. I have released some different workers, and I'm probably going to release more on camera because I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any plans for some of the like the di disciples. Um, also, I want to um, offer someone a contract on camera. There was a uh, a comment left on the first video saying sign Shane Helms, which I'm going to negotiate with him right now. Um, There we go. Yep. Let's. Uh, we're gonna. We're gonna make a contract offer to Shane Helms. There we go. So, we still have a uh, Bubba Ray, Devon, Rob Van Dam, Butterbean, and Shane Helms awaiting contract negotiations. Uh, we have this whole short list of superstars. I'm probably gonna go through. Um, uh, there's probably quite a few missing as well because I, I just don't remember everyone I shortlisted in the last episode. Uh, real quick, let us release. 8-Ball, I don't care, I don't care. We're going to release 8-Ball. Um, there he is, Chains. I don't care. I, it is a pretty good amount of money I'm losing out on, but um, it's not that bad, if you ask me. I mean, if you look at our finance, it is, uh, out of all the workers, we have to pay them that much. But that's I don't, I'm not really too worried about it. Um, okay. So we've gotten rid of the Disciples of Apocalypse. We have our storylines now, which I only gave a description to one. <laughs> what an idiot. I thought I gave the descriptions to the other ones. Um, but either way, uh, my description for Owen Hart vs. The Rock. Owen has swore to his brother, Brett, and his family that he will get revenge on McMahon after the events that took place in Montreal. The Rock, who is very loyal to Mr. McMahon, has promised the boss that he will personally take care of Owen. So uh, let's go to uh, the show. We might even have some... Uh... No, no, we don't. I was going to say we might have a backstage thing. Our rating's 86 this time. Last time I did the show, it was like 90-something, I thought. I don't know. Uh, oh, that's because I released some people. Duh. Either way, so Bart Gunn, Bob Holly, Brian Christopher, China, Honky Tonk Man, Sable, Shawn Michaels, and Sonny are all negative influence. Uh, Taki Michinoku is isolated by the language barrier, so I'm going to try to get some uh, um, Chinese or Japanese or Korean people in. I don't know what he is, but Asian in general. Uh, we got some positive people here as well. Owen Hart's a locker room leader, so is The Undertaker, and uh, so is Mankind and Jim Ross. Cool. And then we have some notable relationships. Vince McMahon's loyal to some people. That's neat. Uh, Triple H is dating China. Um... Some negative relationships we have here, like Owen Harton doesn't like Triple H or Shawn Michaels. Makes sense. Rock and Michaels don't like each other. Uh, kind of makes sense as well. I believe I heard back then that they uh, didn't like each other. Also, um, I did uh, change the product up a little bit. Because, um, yeah, back to those problems that we encountered. So, uh, I'll take a quick drink here. And... Um, I have an idea of what I want to run because I was thinking about it like all night, all day at work today. Um, real quick, let's look at our main eventers. So we have to get basically, I'd say, most of these guys. I don't have any plans for Mankind, so I'm probably going to leave him out. But all these main eventers, we are going to put in angles and all that jazz. So the first match I want to do is going to be Big Van Vader battling... Ahmed Johnson. I'm gonna have these two battle and a eight minute match. How long's the show? Eight minutes, Jesus. I'm I'm gonna do ten minutes. Let him go for it at ten minutes. Ahmed Johnson's gonna be the winner. Uh, we're gonna keep both gentlemen strong here. Open match. Uh, script. Work the crowd. Tainted win, 
and it's going to be by distraction. Gold Dust is going to distract Vader, and that is going to aid that storyline a little bit. Hopefully we don't get marked on our match intensity. <clears throat> um, let's get some of the other main eventers in as well. We want to get all these guys first. Um... I know the main event I'm going to do tonight. The main event of the night is kind of interesting because it's going to have a similar ending, which in being almost the exact same ending as the opening bout, but that's all right. No one's going to really look at it. The main event's not going to close the show, though, but it's going to be um, it's going to be the final match. So what's the major match? 15? I'm going to have them go at for like 13 minutes. Sounds good to me. Um, Excuse me. Have HBK get the win because he's the champ. Uh, keep Shawn Michaels... Of, of, uh, ah, can't speak. Keep Shawn Michaels strong. I want to keep both the Road Warriors strong because they're going to lose. In fact, um, let's make Animal the loser because... Yeah, we'll see in a second. Um, tainted win as well. And we're going to have a distraction where it's going to cause Hawk to get distracted by Road Dog Jesse James. Which will allow Billy Gunn, or that's uh, Animal, my apologies, uh, Billy Gunn to attack Animal, leading to DX getting the win. That'll be our main event. We have, um, who else do we have main event-wise that we need to get in action? We need to uh, angle between Taker, I have one in mind for that as well. It's going to be a managerial challenge. And um, challenge is accepted. This is what I want. Manager comes out, challenges another worker to a singles match on behalf of his client. Okay. So the client makes a surprise return. Okay. So Paul Bearer. Where's Paul? Paul Bearer, please. There we go. Uh, the Undertaker, that's The Rock, and Kane have this go on for about like 10 minutes. All right, and that's pretty much a good a name for it. Move that back because, like I said, main event. Uh, analysis: We need to get Owen Hart in a match. I have a I have a match idea for him. Um, so we're gonna go put Owen Hart in action against an upper mid Carter. Who though? I'm not sure at the moment. Not Ahmed Johnson. In fact, exclude booked because I don't know why they're still here. Um, Billy Gunn, Farouk, Goldust, Jeff Jarrett. Is there any mid carters maybe? Because I don't want to bury any of those guys. I think it may be Jeff Jarrett. Oh, no, Savio Vega. Let's do that. I think that'll be a good match. I was thinking maybe Jeff Jarrett, but... um. Put Salvio in there and have them go at it for. Hold on. I have to book 68 more minutes. That's ridiculous. That's not what I meant to do. At angle. What am I trying to do? There we go. I was like, what am I trying to do again? Have them go at it for 10 minutes. Owen looking strong, keeping it good. Script. I'm not sure if I had a script on the last one. Decisive. Uh, I might have to go back. No, that's a uh, angle. No wonder I don't think I added a script on the other one. I have two matches. Two matches. It, this is actually technically 50%. I'm just saying. Oh, no, that is a match. Never mind. Duh. That's the main event, though. Don't worry. We're going to get some angles in here. In fact, we're going to do an angle right now. All right, it's going to be an open challenge just because there's nothing in here where I can have... Uh, you know, Owen Hart calling someone out. That's not an open challenge. My bad. Uh, yeah, but there's nothing in here where it's like... Um, where I can say Owen Hart calls out Vince McMahon. So it's basically going to be... Owen Hart calls out Vince McMahon. Have this going for like five minutes... He's going to, you know, be calling him out, basically. And instead of, uh, 
instead of Vince McMahon coming out, The Rock will come out. Give him another five minutes. That way it's like a ten-minute segment altogether. That's ten minutes. And, um... Rock comes out instead. Talks trash about Owen and challenges him. All right, cool. And this will set up a match for next week. So, seriously, whatever. Uh, analysis real quick. What main eventers don't we have? We still need Steve Austin. In fact, let's book our ending angle, which is also going to involve the authority again. Uh, this time he's going to be dragged. No, no, we're going to be doing him just to uh, just a basic one where Mr. McMahon's going to get attacked by Austin. This is going to be a 10 minute program because I can do it. And it's going to be Vince demands Austin. Uh, stands in line, would that be a good way to say it? Vince, let's say, threatens Austin by saying, uh, well, Mr. Austin, uh, uh, we could do things the easy way or we can do things the hard way, like they did that one time. And, uh, just straight up have Austin be like, alright, whatever, let's do things the hard way. Uh, Brett went out. I'm going to go out strong, too. So dot, dot, dot. And pays for it. Cool. Oh, that's right. Unscripted. That's going to be the promo that goes off the air. I also want to have another angle, which is going to... Uh, unfortunately, I don't think there's, like, a contract signing. So I think what I want to do is have a what's it called a face off but no uh, yeah face off but no contact and it's going to be Takamichi Noku and Brian Christopher as for supports let's like add Al Snow in there um Agula or whatever the hell's name is pretty much just adding people that are in the tournament Bob Holly Bob Holly sounds good to me. Um, is that like I don't know, maybe Brooklyn Brawler, unless there's anybody else that Flash Funk was in there. I know that. Um, Freddie Blassie, Goldust, Monsoon. Is there anybody else? Anybody else that was in there by chance? Anyone that's gonna ring a bell when I pass their name? No, I don't think so. We could add, like, I think uh, we're going to go Sergeant Slaughter. I saw him and Brooklyn Brawler. Have that go out for, like, a, I don't know, eight minutes. It's going to be a pretty bad program just because none of them are established. So we're going to put this, like, higher up in the show. I have two more angles I want to book, and I really don't book angles very often, so uh, the only reason I know what I want to do is because I had a general idea. Oh, any other time, it's going to be a little bit, probably a little bit harder, to be completely honest, unless I keep thinking. So I want to do like a backstage segment where it's like, um, not a brawl, but just kind of like a bump into we what was it called basically it's going to be like the start of the argument yeah uh yeah we're going to do argument with Triple H and Ahmed Johnson that'll be like a 3 minute that'll lead to a match for next week it'll get like there and then the other angle I wanted to do was a promo 
where Goldust hypes his match against um, um, Vader. I almost forgot. Vader coming up. So that'll be like a eight minute promo? Seven minutes. Seven minutes sounds good to me. So we get 28 minutes to book some matches. So that's good. I'm happy we're finally getting to book some matches, get the promos out of the way. Where do I want this, though? Uh, we do have some matches on here already, so let's go to one-on-one -on -one match because I want to get Ken Shamrock in action because I have plans for Shamrock. I want to push him. Um, Shamrock is a upper mid-carder, I believe, right? And he's a face. So go to heels and an upper mid-carder or mid-carder, someone I can bury. Mark Miro sounds good to me, as good as anybody. Have this be like a eight-minute match. Shamrock wins, keep him strong, open match, script, decisive. Okay, and we have 18 more minutes. Where do I want to put this? Where do I want to put this? Have it like, there seems pretty good. So, 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 let's look at our heels. We, we're going to put, um, I don't take her say, what? I thought I put heels, my bad. Someone, let's do like a mid-card match. Get one of our mid-carders in there. D'Lo, he comes to a... My attention. Who do you want D'Lo fighting? D'Lo can fight... Do we have a lower mid-carder? Flash Funk? Flash Funk. D'Lo versus Flash Funk. Would be a... Um, Five-minute minor match. Uh, D'Lo. Keep strong. Open match. Decisive. Script. Uh, we need 11 more minutes. That was just a quickie. So we'll put that higher up here. And our final match, we're going to make it like... Uh, do we have tag team? Do we have any interesting tag teams that I want to book? Yeah, let's get the Headbangers in action. Headbangers versus... What are the Headbangers faces? Do we have any heel tag teams? The Goodwins. That works. Headbangers versus the Goodwins. I have it go on for like 10 minutes with Mosh getting the win just because I like his name more. Keeping him strong and Thrasher. I have plans for the Headbangers in the future, so there's a reason why I am giving them this win and letting them be on the show. We need to move this up. Might want to push this back as well. <clears throat> Just because I don't want headbangers versus the good wins being like my match before the main event. You know what I'm trying to say? Uh, this looks good to me, nerds and geeks. I say let's run. Yep, let's go. All right, here we go. So uh, an about that featured great action and average heat. Awesome. Ama Johnson defeated Vader by pinfall with a spine buster. Cool. Uh, I got a 60. That's pretty good as well. Ama Johnson seemed off his game, though. Mm. I knew this segment was not going to be good. It brought the moods down as well. Whatever. Extremely short match. D'Lo Brown defeated Flash Funk. They have some pretty good chemistry, so that's something to look forward to in the future. Ooh, 74. That's good. That's really good. Minus the fact that Paul Barra underperformed. Uh, no. Headbangers match. About that it's solid in-ring action, but non-existent crowd heat. That's fine. Uh, I've got a 63. That's a lot better than I thought it was going to do, because Sal Vio Vega, but Owen Hart's in there, so. Great action, but not much way in heat. Still doesn't matter to me. Uh, cool, cool. I was a little worried about this, just because... Okay, I was about to say, ugh. Just because of the uh, fact that I don't think Owen's that great on the mic. And that's even better. Look at The Rock coming out. Laying the smack down on Owen Hart verbally. You look like, um, 
what did they what did they used to call him? I am not a midget or something. I don't remember. I don't think it was a midget. It was some weird thing. And a match that had some good action, but not much in heat. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that rating as well. Wow. This got a lot better than I thought it would. And Triple H and China have a good pairing as well. So that makes me happy. Goldust cuts a upcoming promo. Got a 70. Not bad. Animal was off his game. Sonny did some good ringsided work. And an 81. That's not too bad. I wish it could have been a little better, but whatever. All right. This show increased our popularity in seven regions, but lost in 12. <sighs> Boy. 12 regions, though, really? That's a pretty big amount. I didn't think the show was that bad to lose in 12 regions, though. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. We can always pick it up. Um, I wonder if this match really happens, because I've seen this match almost every time I've, tried, I've you know, recorded this, because, you know, I've done a lot of time. But um, I wonder if it does, because I, I've all I've, every time I've offered RVD a contract, so I'm not sure if it always happens. But uh, RVD beating Tommy Dreamer in the WWF ECW flag match. Uh, let me know if that really happened, because I'm curious. If not, that's really cool by the game, or really good booking by ECW to let RVD uh, face off against Dreamer with that flag match. So Nitro was awesome, and Sting was to be the star of the show. Has been good, and people seem to enjoy it, so that's good. I'm happy with that. Omega's going to be looking for some people. In fact, I kind of want to look at that show. So let's look at their show real quick. We got a 32. Um, too bad I don't really know any of their names, so never mind. So Nitro did an 85. I'm almost certain they beat me. Yeah, we did 72. All right, we're not that far off, though. Uh, we're okay. OVW have made a contract offer to Adam Copeland. Uh, D'Lo Brown is, don't you just work for me? We got a 94, and we also got a 3.35. That's rad as hell. Happy with those. I think I'm going to simulate up to the pay-per-view, and then we'll book the pay-per-view in the next episode.